Hi everyone. This is a video specifically for professional people to address their unique concerns. Now, my name's Christopher Power. I've created a program called Human Design for Innovators and Entrepreneurs. Now, obviously, the focus of it is this thing called human design. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may know a lot about it. Some of you may never have heard of it before. So just to get to the core of what human design is, it's an invitation to really enjoy your life. It is a fundamental change in the way that you live your life so that you really are able to enjoy your life doing whatever it is you're most gifted at doing in this world. In other words, it's bringing success and satisfaction and being at peace and enjoying life all together in one package. And it does it in a very practical way. It gives you a very clear indication of how, well, not indication, it gives you very clearly the methodology for how you make decisions as a unique individual in a way that will really, really work for you. Maybe not other people, but this is the way you make decisions that moves you through the world in, in a way that gets you to where you really want to go and brings out the unique individual gifts that you have as a person. Now, as a professional, we're often part of a system and therefore, you know, that system can put demands on us and expect us to behave in very specific ways. Now, that can be a, a great thing because it provides standards. It provides level of care, accountability, responsibility, quality. However, the other side of systems the way they've developed in the past is they've also breeded conformity and having to create a particular image. And that often over time works against the best interest of the professional and the client. And so when you make a fundamental change in the way you live your life, one of the biggest concerns of a professional is how that will impact the people around you and the standards of your profession. So let me come back to what human design is to address that concern. Human design is a system that combines together the best of the past, of past sciences and technologies and approaches from various cultures, with the very best of current day science, including physics and genetics. That's what it is as a practical system. That does not mean you have to join a religion, dress a particular way, <laughs> operate in any way that violates who you are and who you choose to be in relating to the world around you. Now, secondly, it gives you extremely, extremely practical advice and insight and, not, and access to very, very practical knowledge. And that knowledge is a very clear understanding of who you are as a unique individual and the unique gifts that you bring to the world. Now, that's important in any profession that you're using your true talents to do whatever you are doing. Because it's inevitable that you'll su succeed at being yourself and bring the best to your profession when you're drawing upon your strengths and clearly aware 
of what your weaknesses are and how those weaknesses can actually be strengths in themselves. Now, that's obvious, but I want to state that because human design is very specific at doing that. And the second thing, and the most dynamic and useful, is it gives you a very clear pathway to make decisions that work for you. And that pathway is, is suited, uniquely suited to your individual nature. It is not the same for everybody. But it very clearly tells you when you have a decision to make, and how to make that decision. And the beauty of making great decisions is a great decision answers two things. One, do you have the energy to do this at the moment? Which is really important. Do you have the resources? Do you have the physical energy? Do you have the enthusiasm? Do you have the clarity, mental or emotional, instinctive clarity of what to do at this time? And the second thing it tells you that's crucial is, is the timing right to do this at this time? So when you make a great decision, it tells you, do you have the energy and is the timing right? And if it says no, it's obviously the best thing to do is to not do that at this particular time and space at this particular, get someone else to do it, hand it over to someone else, step back and be patient, take your time, reassess the options. All of those obviously powerful and important things to do. And if it says, yes, the timing is right, bingo. People are going to look at you as someone who knows how to get the timing right. And that is an incredible quality in any aspect of life, from family to relationships to business, and many other areas, sports, arts, all the things that are important to us in life. So, human design teaches you how to do that in your own unique and individual way. It didn't Actually, teaching is not the correct word. <laughs> it's not the correct word. You learn through your own experience. Now, in other words, you're not adopting another system that's going to clash with whatever system you're a part of or whatever system you believe in. All it's going to do is, through experience, teach you how to work with the system that is you so that it operates at its highest efficiency and makes incredible decisions. In other words, in other words it operates at its optimal best. Now, that does not require that you learn it in a specific way. It, what it does require is you learn it in the way that works best for you. It does not require that you stand out as some sort of radical or weirdo in your profession. It does require you bring the very best to the table that you're capable of bringing. And it may require letting go of a bunch of behaviours or things that you're doing that don't work for you. Handing it over to other people, developing new innovative approaches, being at the cutting edge of what you do. And when you do that in a way that's in harmony with who you are, it may ruffle a few feathers but inevitably it brings respect. And it doesn't require that you ruffle the feathers to do it. Because if that's not right for you, your decision-making process will tell you the timing's not right. 
So these are important concerns, you know, when you get it. The other thing is it doesn't require you join a group or become part of a community. This is about your life and moving through the world so you end up where you truly belong, not where you've been taught to think you belong, which often doesn't work for you. Or to be part of a system that doesn't work and to be struggling and drowning in the midst of it, it can take you to a place where you can make a difference in that system or create a new system in a way that really makes sense for you. We are protected by bringing out your very best qualities. So it does take some courage because you're going to need to shift your decision making process from trying to figure it all out up here. Now, your mind is, gr is great for many, many, many things. And it's a crucial component of who you are. It's a great thing for dreaming, visioning, imagining, sharing your perspective, becoming aware, sharing your unique outlook on the world and awareness with the world around you. But when it comes to making decisions, there's a better way. We are now ready to give that responsibility back to our inner self contained within this body so the decisions that are made relate to the real world, not to some theory. And so they're in everybody's best interests, including your body and your world, you know, the people in your life. And your mind is then free to be innovative, to be entrepreneurial to be highly focused, to be really clear about how to do the very best with what you've got, to be an inspiration for other people, and many, many other things that come with that. So I know people are concerned about that. And as I've created a program that brings in this, you know, only 20, 25 year old information. It's only been out there. It's in the, still in the very early adopter stage. So it's for people who really do want to make a difference in the real world, in their physical life, not get lost in a bunch of theories or systems based on theories. But without having to tear those systems apart, you can move to a place where you can make a difference, at least in your own life. And maybe if that's part of your nature and design in the lives of many other people around you. It takes courage to stand up and come to the table as who you really are. It takes courage to test this alternative way of making decisions and see if it works for you. And I wouldn't ask that of you if I hadn't done it myself for the last eight years consistently and demonstrated to myself in my life and in my professional life that it really works. So it does take courage, but it's not a courage that's foolhardy, nor is it a courage that requires you challenge everyone around you, except by turning up as who you really are. That's the, if you want to hide from who you are, if you don't want to have a life that works elegantly and easily, then don't do this. I mean, there may be other ways to do it, but this is an incredibly powerful way because it does not demand that you do anything but learn this the way you naturally learn and that's what I did with the whole program I created a territory that you could explore in your own time when the energy is right for you and you could draw on your own professional and personal experience 
as part of going through the program to educate yourself about what really works for you and to start moving through the world in a way where you end up where you truly belong, surrounded by the people you belong with, who don't have a problem with you being unique because they need you to be unique. And then you can really make a difference in the world. Enjoy the process thoroughly and have a life that does not require struggle to make it noble. But its nobility and dignity comes from who you are and what you do and how you do it. And that can be a personal experience or with a group or with the whole of humanity. So I've presented human design in a way that as a professional, you can enjoy without in any way compromising yourself or making yourself look foolish. If you want to do this program very privately, it's easy to set it up that way. If you want to do it in Facebook groups or publicly within the group, happy to do that. If you want to go and tell everyone in the world about it, happy to do that. And it's easy to do that the way this program is structured. You can, I have many clients and many people involved in the program who just quietly go about it. No one knows. And other people who are very public about what they're doing in the sense of what they're doing, not about what I'm doing, maybe let other people know about it because they see the value in it. But it doesn't require, you know, becoming a target at all. In fact, the whole thing is about not being a target for other people's conditioning or ideas about what your life should be or other people's ridicule because you're daring to live your own life. I mean, living your own life should be the most natural thing you can possibly do. And so I've des designed the program that way. And if you have particular concerns as a professional, this program can be structured in such a way that those concerns are addressed because this is a territory. It's not a rigid pathway. And so this can be adapted to allow you to do it the way that works for you. In fact, it will tell you clearly the way it works for you. <laughs> and then, you know, I, me and my, my, myself and my staff, we're really focused on making it so it works for you. Now, we're not going to pander to every little mental trip you might have in your head because we're professionals. But we will work with you to make this as powerful and effective an experience for you and as meaningful and an experience for you as we possibly can. So I hope that's addressed your concerns. If you have any other questions, please contact me. Um, I'd be more than happy to address them. And I look forward to working with you one day, if that's appropriate for you and for me. I'll talk to you again soon.